everybody, Joy here. It is Friday. My gosh, do these weeks just roll by so fast you can't believe it. <laughs> I hope you all are having a great week. I've had a great week. I uh, got a call from Terry, I don't know, a couple days ago, and she wanted to know if I wanted to ride with her. She said she wanted to get some new clothes because she's getting a little weight and some of her clothes, you know, she was really skinny there for a while. And she wanted to get some new clothes. So I said, oh, I said, I don't need a thing. I said, oh my gosh, I got so many clothes now and all this fabric. And I said, we've been to the grocery store. I don't need a thing. <laughs> but if we can go to lunch, because we're going to a real town. We go to Sherman, Texas when we go shopping because they have like normal stores and normal restaurants. <laughs> like a real town. <laughs> Unlike here. In our one horse town. Sorry if that made too much noise. The lady that hates me to drink my coffee. I think she's long gone. I don't hear from her anymore. But anyway, hey, before I tell you about that, have you been to the hashtag wide leg pant challenge? <gasps> I was so surprised. I, in the middle of the night, I wake up in the middle of the night all the time. My mind are too hot and I have to kick my covers off or whatever. So anyway, middle of the night, I was thinking, Oh, I put that hashtag thing in there. I probably should go and check it and see if anybody puts some pictures. <laughs> so this morning when I got up, first thing, I went and I got my first cuppa. This is my second. How about that? Was that quiet? I went and I got my first cuppa. And then I got my laptop and I went and I sat in my chair in my living room where I usually sit. And so I opened up my computer and I went to Instagram and I did the search. And um, I put pound line wide leg challenge. Pound, pound line. Pound line. <laughs> Don't you miss your brain? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I'm going to be 69 next week, you guys. <laughs> it's not a pound line, Joy. It's a hashtag. I went to hashtag on Lake Pant Challenge and oh my gosh, I was so super, super surprised. There were 14 pictures there. I was so excited. And so I was fiddling around with it and learned some new stuff about it. So I'll do a separate video, okay, on what we're going to do from this point on and some new little things I learned about it. But I wanted to tell you about my non-shopping spree with Terry. <laughs> You know, my redhead friend, Terry, you guys all know her. So I was just going to ride with her, right? And um, watch her try and close. And then go have lunch at Olive Garden, which we did. Well, I just wanted to show you what I somehow happened to find on my own shopping spree. And I want to tell you the craziest thing. I feel like Whitney, my eyes itching. Ugh. Oh. Mascara. Do you all know... What kind of mascara doesn't flake and those little black dots fall? I was doing my face a while ago and I looked in the magnifying mirror and I had spots of mascara down here on my neck. I thought, oh my God. Terry was looking at a mirror yesterday when we were standing in line at Penny's and it was a 10 times magnification. And I told her that I actually have a mirror at my other house that's fifth times magnification. So you can go outside in the sunlight and pluck all of your eyebrows out and then pull your whiskers off your chin and stuff um, outside on your patio in the sun with a 10 times mirror. Then come in the house and turn on that 15 times mirror which has a light in it and you plug it in. <laughs> and you look like a werewolf. Dear God, you still got so much hair left on your face. You cannot see. It's not fair. <laughs> anyway, I decided we should go to Joann's just because it's there. Oh, and because the Butterick patterns were $1.99. So, of course, you need to go to Joann's and Hobby Lobby when their patterns are $1.99. Even if you have 200 million of them, which I do, <laughs> you can still find new patterns you don't have. I don't know how it's possible, but it is. So, you want to see my new, new, new patterns? I'll just show you real fast. They're no big deal. I'm sure you all have seen them. They weren't even out of the new book. I imagine there's a new fall book coming in. And so they're having this sale on Butterick to get them out of the drawer so they can fit the new ones in. So, these are from the summer book. 
This is a Connie Crawford. I tried one of her patterns before, did not like it, but I thought I would try again because I think this would be real cute with the long, with the long leg. Mm, with the wide leg pants. <laughs> because you could use the fabric in the pant for the drape. Huh? I'll tell you the number. And then if you want to look it up and see it closer, you can. This is B6334, okay? Oh, and why are you standing in front of those butterflies? <laughs> because I'm upstairs in the upstairs bedroom, and I'm trying to be quiet because my husband's downstairs in the office talking to a new boss that they put in charge of our company. We had boss number one, then we had boss number two, and now we have boss number three. So he and Jerry are talking downstairs. So I just wanted to... Uh, go someplace where I couldn't bother him. So this is a quilt I started years ago and two years ago maybe and these are all just pinned on. My butterflies are just pinned on. They've all got um, seam a seam on the back of them and I have two more. Here's one row, two rows, three rows, four rows and you can see I've got a blank 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 here and then I have two more whole rows I have to do butterflies for. So, and then there's little caterpillars on here. I don't know if you can see them from there. Here's a caterpillar. Here's a caterpillar. Here's a caterpillar. How cute! Here's a caterpillar. Here's a caterpillar. How cute, how cute. Anyway, so this is on the, the, the frame, you know, that you put quilt blocks on. So, um, it's just up against the wall in this bedroom. So that's what that's about. So here's pattern number two. I liked this. Remember the blouse I made with the peplum? And it was a gathered peplum and it stuck all out like a, like a little girl's ballerina skirt and nobody liked it. So I thought maybe I could do this kind of a peplum that just kind of hangs soft and straight. And so I like it. This is B6629. And I'm leaning over the queen size bed and I can't reach the camera any closer, guys. So I like that a lot. I think I bought this one about three times. <laughs> this is B6456, and I like it because it's got a big pleat in the front, going down the center front, and it's got four different sleeves. So I like it very much. That's B6456. And there's B6355, and I think this is cute. According to Peggy Sagers, <laughs> Ruffles and lace. Ruffles and lace and what else? Gathers. Ruffles, lace, and gathers are like super, super popular right now. So I thought I might try these soft ruffles. And this is B6355 and it's real cute. I'm sorry if the light makes a glare, guys. But like I said, you can always go look it up. All right. This is B6683, and this is the one I actually went to get. And I saw this made up. We went to a clothing store later, and I actually saw this style made up, and it was all made out of lace. But I was too lazy to try it on. I didn't want to mess up my hair. <laughs> so anyway, I think this is really cute, and something that I can embroider, like I did the uh, house coat denim dress, remember? This is B6683, and I think it's very cute for fall. Captain Duty. Okay, here's another one. I like bows. I like little ties and little bows. I don't mind that. My mother taught me how to tie a bow perfect when um, I was growing up. And so I can tie a bow so it hangs right and looks right and has a pretty knot in the middle. If anybody wants me to teach them how to tie a bow, <laughs> let me know. This is B6662. And it's got the little bow between the boobs. And so I thought that was cute. Okay, it's not a bow, it's a little, a little tie. And this is B6666, and it's another tunic looking style, and it's got some yokes on the top, and I thought this would be cute if you put some wide leg pants up there where the yoke is. Uh, so I really like this B6666. Okay? All right. This one is B6687. Again, it's got four different sleeves in it, and it's just a simple pullover woven style. There you go. B6687. 
I have 10 of these because that's all they'll let you buy. Otherwise, I'd have 20. <laughs> this one I've looked at before, and I didn't really like it. But then I thought I might try the style that's not belted, that just hangs down straight and has a little short sleeve with the ruffle. And that's, if you see, the girl wearing the orangey gold colored one, B6663. It wants to focus on my face. Let me stick this in front of my face. Okay, B6663. And this one is B5988, and it's just a pullover, and I like it because it's got several tucks or pleats right here in the front. It's got like three on this side and three on this side, and I think it's cute. Plus, it's got gathers up at the neck, so I thought that would be real fun to play with. B5988. Okay, so you want to see what you buy at Joann's when you don't need anything? <laughs> And you have more fabric than you got places to put it. I'm getting ready to rearrange the bookshelves in this bedroom. I put out here, we've got these two, um, oh, I don't know what you call them. They're things on the top of the roof, and you can see them from the roof, and they're like little bitty houses with roofs. I don't know what you call them. But inside the house, it's just an area that's kind of, it's got a window seat in it and a window. And then I had a bookcase built into the wall on each side. So I'm going to take some books out of this bookcase that nobody ever looks at or reads anyway and make more room for fabric. Isn't that a good idea? Okay, so here's the deal. I didn't need anything, but I saw this brand new fabric at Joann's and I thought it was so cute. So let me show you. I have in my closet probably half a dozen pair of beige or tan pants. I buy them. I just bought a pair yesterday. I buy them and then I look in my closet. I never have anything to go with them. So I saw this fabric at Joann's and I just thought this was so pretty and it has several colors of tans in it. It has tan and cream and beige and kind of a medium brown and so I just thought this was beautiful. Is that the right side? One side's dark, one side's light. Yeah, that's the right side. So how pretty is that? I had to have that, you guys. <laughs> Doesn't stretch, just a polyester. It does have to go in the washing machine, though. So that's going downstairs to the wash. Then I found this one that goes with my solid color pants or jeans, and it has every color in the world in it, practically, in these feathers. And I think it is just as cute as it can be, too. Feather duty. Huh? How about that? Isn't it pretty? It's black background, and it's got just every color. Every color. So I like it very, very much, too. I don't know. This is outrageous prices. And, you know, Joann's always sends you all these coupons and all these texts. But all of their coupons are only good on regular priced items. Their fabric is always marked down just a little bit. It's marked up outrageously, 24 bucks a yard or something. And then it's like maybe 20% off, maybe 30. And so it's still a fortune. So anyway, I have to really, really like it to pay that much for it. And I did. So <laughs> this would be very cute wide leg pants, wouldn't it? Feathers. I didn't even think about that. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. And then you know my jacket pattern it's a new look and I don't have it in here but it's in my other videos and you can look it up I wanted to get some kind of a fabric that I could make that jacket in and line it remember I wanted to line it and so it could go with more stuff you know pink only goes with pink or white uh, it doesn't go with everything and I wanted one I could just keep in my car and put on when I wanted to so I got this denim it's a lightweight denim I hope Kind of a medium weight and it's got little hearts on it little hearts on it and I'm, i bought some lining that's the color of the hearts but i don't know i'm kind of wanting to put bright red inside it they didn't have one there but i don't know maybe a print maybe a, a red or a burgundy but isn't that cute for a jacket and it's going to be that um that same new look pattern that the pink ones are yeah See, can you see that as a jacket? <laughs> so that's got to get washed. So then, 
we got done at Joann's and we went to JC Penney's. I wanted to go to Penny's. Of course, I didn't need anything that day, as you know. And so I had some watches. I've got about 10 watches that don't work. I've got some Fossil watches and some Brighton watches and some just Walmart watches, all different kinds of watches, and none of them work because their batteries are dead. So Penny's has a battery, a watch battery kiosk thing in the middle of the store. So I asked Terry, I said, can we just stop and I'll leave my watches here and then we're done shopping, I'll come back and pick them up. So I went in there. Terry said, I'm going to run and try on some clothes. I said, okay. So I went over to the watch place. And they said, did you buy those here? I said, I don't know. I said, I may have bought one or two of them here, but it would have been 20 years ago. I don't know. Well, we can't put a battery in unless you bought the watch here. And it has to be in stock in case we break your watch. We can replace it. Oh, crap. So anyway. So... I decided, while Terry was trying on clothes, I would go way to the back of the store and go to the ladies' room with my watches that they wouldn't keep or they wouldn't fix. So I was walking, and on my way back, I ended up in the lingerie department. And when I'm in panties, that's where I always buy my panties and my bras, is panties, Vanity Fair and Jockey. And so I thought, oh, I'll go see if they have my bras and if they're on sale today. So I went over to their Vanity Fair bra department, and this one bra just jumped off the rack. And I went, oh, look at that. It's Vanity Fair, and it's like my bra, only it's different. And so I went over there, and I looked at it, and I just loved it. I don't know. I've got it on. I don't know if you can see the straps. The straps are a little bit wider, and they're made out of a little different material. So anyway, I grabbed my size. I went in the waiting room. Waiting room. Yeah, I went out in the waiting room and tried it on. I went in the dressing room and tried it on. I loved it. I just loved it. So I went back out and I searched and searched. By that time, Terry had wandered over there and she said, oh, I want one too. So she got one in her size. And I looked and looked and looked and I couldn't find one. But way in the back on the hook was one just hung up by its strap over the hook. So Terry pulled all the hangers off for me. I got that one out. And so we went up to pay for them. Those stupid bras were $42. $42. How outrageous. So anyway, um, they rang the bra up and I said, is anything on sale today? And she said, oh, I've got this one little coupon I can scan or something. I don't remember what it was. Um, no, no, no. She went to my, um, I have some kind of a thing where they look up my phone number and, and I have a discount. I don't, I don't know. But anyway, it came down a little bit from $42. Then I went to pay for it. And I said, if I use my JCPenney charge card, will I get any more off? And she said, yes, if you use your Penny's charge card, you'll get an extra 20% off all of this stuff, all this stuff, my two bras. And so I said, okay, so I paid for it. So 20% off of $42 is what, $8? eight dollars and forty cents and so if you take eight dollars and forty cents off of forty two dollars you're still at thirty six or something in there for this bra okay so I thought well you know at least I got the twenty percent off and then Terry bought hers and I don't think she got anything off of it so then you know we throw those bags in the store <clears throat> and then we decided we needed a cookie break and I had bought some cookies earlier because I forgot to tell you when I, my baby was here I dropped my sunglasses in the pond <laughs> my sunglasses were on the bottom of the pond so I said could we just run by Sam's I got my sunglasses there years ago I want to get another pair so we went by Sam's and so when I was in there getting my sunglasses I saw these cookies and so I bought this pack of cookies for Jerry not for me or Terry <laughs> But before we got home, there were four cookies missing from that package. So we decided to have a cookie break, went over to Sonic and got a drink, and we sat and ate our cookies and had a drink. And then we went to Belk, okay? Belk is, I don't know, they don't have them in Oklahoma. I don't know if they're only in Texas, but it's B-E-L-K. And I like their clothes. They Their clothes actually fit me pretty good. I think they make them for the older generation, although they have them for the younger generation too. But they all seem to be pretty big and baggy. <laughs> or their, their fabric is so stretchy. I am not kidding you. You can just stretch it forever. So anyway, Terry was there to try on clothes. I needed nothing, of course. <laughs> so I thought, oh, I don't want to try anything on. I don't want to try anything on. 
So she was um, up at the park where her department was and all the sales were, and she was um, messing with all of that, and I was just wandering. And so I just wandered back to the back of the store. And when I got back to the back of the store, I saw something that I liked that was on sale that I wanted to try on. It actually was these shorts right here. Can you see these shorts? <laughs> I saw these shorts and they were on a sale rack, you know, regularly 46 stupid dollars or something, which is such a joke. Marked down to $24.99, but an additional 20% off of that or something. So I thought, oh, those are cute. And I, so I went in the dressing room to try them on. So I'm in the dressing room trying on these shorts. Terry is done buying her clothes or trying them on and she's looking for me. So my cell phone rings. She said, it's Terry, where are you? I said, I'm way in the back of the store. She said, oh, I am too. I said, well, come in here. I'm in the dressing room. So she came to the dressing room where I was trying on these shorts and she said, Joy, you won't believe it. She said, they have those exact same bras here and they're $19.99. $19.99. I said, do you are kidding me. I said, they can't be the same bra. She said, they are. I swear, I said, go get me one. She went and got me one, brought it to the dressing room. Exact same bra. Price tag on it, $42. They had them on sale for $19.99. Plus, they had a 15% off coupon if you had a Belk charge card. So, Terry and I, of course, bought our bras there. Went back to Penny's and returned the bras to Penny's. But isn't that just awful? Isn't that just awful? Right there in the same shopping center... Same exact bra, one store has it for $42 and one store has it for $19.99. Plus, we got an extra 15% off of it. So, just saying girls, keep your receipts. <laughs> so then, while I was wandering around the store, and before I got to the shorts, I came to these t-shirts. Walmart, Penny's, everywhere I go, I always look at the t-shirts. You, you notice I hardly ever wear a t-shirt, right? You never see them on me. The reason you never see them on me, number one, I hate crew necks. Number two, they never fit right. And the number one reason I hate them is they always have one side of the neck where there's a seam, where they just sew the seam all the way across, the binding and everything. And then you've got this seam. And I have very sensitive skin. And I can feel that seam. I actually go to a the cupboard in the kitchen and get band-aid, get a band-aid out, and I put a band-aid over that seam if the shirt I'm wearing happens to have that. Hate them. So I always pick up the shirts and I always look to see how the neck is finished. I go, oh my god, that's a really nice finish and there's no seam on either side. And so they had all these t-shirts. They were all nicely folded. They were all on set, mark $24, on sale for $9.99. And I thought, oh, they never had my size. So I always buy large. All the larges were gone, no larges. But I picked up, I thought, I need a pink one to go with my pink jacket. So I picked one up in a medium. I thought, I wonder if a medium could fit me. So I held it up to myself and I put it around like that. And I thought, oh, that kind of could fit me. And so I took one of these back to the dressing room where I tried on the white shorts. Are y'all bored to death? <laughs> Anyway, I took the pink one into the dressing room, and it was plenty big. Lots of ease. I loved it, and they're all the neck. So, um, what I'm wearing, you guys, did you make that? No, I did not make this. This is one of the t-shirts I bought. I don't look good in t-shirts. That's why I don't wear them. But if you have one that's well made and it has enough ease, you can fiddle with it and make it look better. So you can see I have rolled the sleeve up twice because the sleeves are clear down here. I don't like them that way. And you can see the shirt does not have a bust dart, but with a simple rubber band, you can put a bust dart in it. You just gather up some fabric underneath. You can do it here. You can do it in the middle. And it is so fun. So, this is my shirt with rubber band, 20% off. They were 20% off because my credit card had expired, so I had to get a new one. And so you get 20% off one whole day shopping. So 20% off of $9.99, which is $10. So I ended up paying 8 bucks a piece. 
for these t-shirts. Look how cute they are. Here's a green and a white one. Here's a yellow and a white one. Here is a pink one. Here is a royal blue one. And here is a polka dot one. And I already showed you the white one, right? Showed you the white one. And here is a red one. These are well made. Well made. Shocking. Made in Japan, but well made. I don't can't even tell you. I usually pick the shirts up and I'll fold them in half like this and I'll compare the sleeves. Do it sometime. The sleeves can be a half inch to a whole inch different from each other. Unbelievable. One side can be a half inch longer than the other. These are just so well made. I was so surprised. And navy. So the reason I'm showing you these is if you don't have a belk. Yesterday there was some stuff we wanted that they didn't have. And so she said you can order this online and you'll still get the sale prices and it'll be free shipping. So if you want to try the bras on sale, if you want to try the t-shirts on sale, you can go to belk.com. Look around. See if you find anything. I don't know why it was free shipping. I don't know if it was just one day, but anyway, for somebody that went out and needed nothing, I am so excited that I got these cute shorts. And do they even have pockets? Oh, <gasps> they have pockets. The pockets are so shallow, they only come up to my knuckles. <laughs> you couldn't get a cell phone in these pockets. Are there any in the back? Oh, you can get one in the back, though. So, anyhow, that's all I know. Oh, one other thing. When we were at Joann's, you know how I showed you to put the ribbon in the back of your pants so you could tell the back of your pants? I was wandering again. Terry was shopping, and I was wandering again. <laughs> and I happened to wander through the ribbon department. And in the ribbon department, there was this signs. There were signs all, every two feet, there was a sign, 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 sign. And it said, buy one, get three free. Buy one, get three free. I went, oh, oh my gosh, I have to get some of those. <laughs> so I grabbed up some more while I was there. So for a shopping spree, that I didn't need a single thing. I did okay, didn't I? All right, I'm not going to keep you guys. I just wanted to show you that. And I am going to make another video, um, maybe this afternoon, um, after this one gets uploaded, and give you an update on the wide leg pant challenge and Instagram. Bye for now. <laughs>